Okay guys, I thought we could just sit here and do a good old fashioned get ready with me. I should do these once a week. It could be a third video upload, you know? Anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. So these are the products that like, of course I gravitate toward, I mean, literally there's just a pile of makeup in front of me. There is no order to any of this. Is there ever any order? If there is, you are just seriously way ahead of the game. So I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil to, I don't like doing it like this, but I wanted to use this brush. I just got this brush about a couple weeks ago from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale and it's the It Cosmetics Airbrush OMG Foundation Brush. And I like it because it's a different shape. It's a paddle shape. And I was just like, ooh, that's such a good idea to apply like primers, oils. Maybe I'll even try using it with the foundation, which I think I will today. So love that primer oil. I have dry skin tonight. I am going on a girl's night but that's not for a few hours. And I wanna to go to the gym, but I'm not gonna do a crazy sweat breaking workout. I'm just gonna lift some weights, do some back and buys, but this is like the only opportunity I have to do my makeup. It's during nap time. And nap time is the prime time. So this is the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Pro Filter Primer. One of my favorites as well. It really, oh, it feels so amazing. Have you guys shopped the Sephora sale? It's going on right now going on right now so if you haven't seen my video for all my recommendations for a dry skin that's what I focused on this time around you definitely need to go and check that out I've been kind of slacking and only using brushes when I apply my foundation and you know what it's time I move a little farther back and use a beauty blender a beauty sponge that's what I'm using today but I do want to try this out so I'm actually going to go in with this LYS triple fix serum foundation I'm in this shade MN5, I'm a light to medium skin tone with a neutral undertone. I've used this foundation a couple times. I do have a review on my channel about it and I really liked it. Really liked it. It was long lasting, beautiful finish. Okay, so this brush with foundation is very interesting because it does leave things a little streaky. Definitely more paddle-like effect. So now I'm gonna go in with the sponge. If Do you ever get in a rut with your makeup routine? Ooh, I do all the time. Sometimes I'm editing footage and I'm like, people watch my videos. <laughs> I think that more often than not. So for all of you that are here watching my videos, thank you. Seriously, thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. With the whole foundation base on, I really like this because it is buildable, but you can still see Blemishes, my complexion, it's breathable. I really do feel like it's long lasting. Yada, 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 yada. I think I was gonna go in with um, concealer, but I'm actually not gonna go in with a cream contour because that's what I like to do. I have been using the Fenty Beauty Cream Contour like all the time, hundreds of times, but I wanna kinda try something different. I used the cream contour on just my bare skin the other day and I wasn't a huge fan. It was just like weird. It performed so well on top of makeup, but just on my bare skin, it, it looked super orange. And so I'm gonna take a break from that one for just a second because it is one that I really love and use the Huda Beauty Tantor. I really wanna get the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick as well as the Patrick Ta Bronzer and Powder Contour Duo. I'm definitely going to get that during the sale. So I'm taking some of this and did I tell you guys the shade? It's the shade Light. And I've just been obsessed with cream products, especially with dry skin. I wish I was a little, well, okay. I wish I was a lot better at blending out all these things because I'm not. <laughs> and I never feel like things are catching on camera how they should. It's my own fault. I'm trying to figure out lighting situation all the time. But it's a learning process. Anything you do is a learning process. If you are starting your own YouTube channel, I do have a freebie, how to get to your first uh, 1,000 subscribers. I just gathered together a lot of my tips and things that I did that helped me get to 1,000 subscribers. And so it's just linked down in the thing below, in the description box, whatever it's called. And you just put in your email and it gets sent to you. So that was really fun to make that because one of my passions is YouTube, not just filming, but I love the analytics side and everything like that. Contour is on. That did blend out so beautifully. It really did. I'm gonna go in with concealer. One of my favorites is the Rare Beauty Concealer and my shade is 210N. It's like a brightening concealer and I just love the packaging and the formula is pretty great too. Uh, 
yeah, the packaging is super cute. Let's see here. What do you guys want to see more of? I have a lot of foundation reviews coming with my series, but just do you want to see more dry skin things? I've got a lot of dry skin things coming. <laughs> I love to use the Beauty Blender for my concealer. I really do notice a difference when I go over with the Beauty Blender. I really do feel like it presses into the skin, but also picks up any extra product. I was going to save this for another video, but I wanna use it right now. This is the Fenty Beauty Banana Powder. I can't find any of my other loose powders just sitting around. <laughs> So it looks like we just get to use this today. Yay. Beautiful packaging. I just, where did my beauty blender go? I'm telling you, those are, that is needed. Okay, this has had just like really amazing reviews. And so I'm going to take some of that. I need to do more baking, you guys. It really does brighten the skin. Okay, I'm patting that in with the beauty blender. Ooh, it is blurring. That's nice. It does come out of the sifter really easily, which I appreciate. There are some loose powders. That it is a hassle trying to get that powder out. It's very blurring. I do feel like Fenty Beauty is like the queen of blurring products. I have the skin tint and all that. Okay, I think I'm getting a little out of control. Chisel, chisel, chisel. I haven't done this in so long. Okay, that's as far as that's going to go. <laughs> it's literally time for me to clean all my brushes again. I am running out. I wanted to just do a really easy look with this Natasha Denona palette. This is in the, the shade Peak or the color range Peak. And I'm just going to go in with the pink, this little pink color right here. Just blend that in my crease. I usually just go in with bronzer and my blush. But since this is right here, I decided I need to try a little bit harder when I have time. Which I don't necessarily have a lot of time. What, what time is it? It is 2.07, so I have 20 minutes. And I gotta go. So that's just what I did. I just went in with two colors. For my eyes, I went in with that pink one and the dark one and just kind of blended it into oblivion. You know, I want to brush that powder away. I know all the skin looks right now are just like really dewy skin and I try to do that, but I did a no foundation look and I just wasn't digging it. Like in real life I dig it, but then like on camera, I just don't feel like it's catching well and so I deleted all the footage. I was like, I'm not posting this, I don't want it. I forget how easy it is to apply brows with like a pencil. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit in the shade 6. It's kind of dark, but I'm going to go in with some brow wax, kind of fluff things up a little bit. But I feel like this needs a little bit more hydration to it. But before we do that, I do feel like we need to go in with some bronzer. I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light. They, this is the biggest pan size, but they do sell smaller pan sizes, like half the size and half the price, which I think is worth it because to get through this entire pan size, it's just going to take you a really long time. And so to try out the product, you might as well buy the small one and see how you like it. Let's see. I lately have just been, I don't necessarily like, but I kind of pat and brush. I have some Patrick Ta. This is the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. And you just take a little bit of setting powder to activate it. This is in the tinted version. And then you take a little spoolie like this and you brush those puppies up. That's where the bushy effect comes into play. Yes! That's where it's at. It is where it's at. Mm. Now it doesn't hold them up the whole day, I'll tell you that much. But I really do feel like it just gives like the nicest, fluffiest effect, right? I pulled out some banana powder. I have this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, and then I also have the Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade medium. I'm going to use that and take this brush and just kind of 
I need to have this a little bit brighter. My T-zone. There we go. I feel like this base is looking super good, but we do need to bring some life back into the party, which we're gonna do that with cream bronzer. I can't decide which one I wanna do, actually. I might wanna do a combination. So I wanna do two. This is the Rare Beauty uh, Bliss color, and these are so, these are so fun to use. I can't even tell you. I just need to make sure I use the right brush with it though so it blends out. Harry, this is perfect. The Morphe E4. It's synthetic hair. This works with goat hair too. You just take a couple dots and you're gonna be like, whoa, that's crazy. Now watch. Beautiful. Have you seen anything more beautiful than that? I mean, I, I haven't. I haven't seen anything more beautiful than that. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I never know what to do with my hair. I haven't done it yet, so it's just insane right now. I just think that's so pretty, but I haven't used a powder blush in so long, so I'm gonna go over it with this, which you don't have to. This is the She Sincere by Patrick Ta. I'm just creating a little bit more. Ooh, it's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now, to really liven this up because I want to, I really wanna go in with this Arica Glow Lust. I just purchased this not that long ago, but it's hard to tell how it performs on powder products. So I just put a little bit of that on my hand. Just lightly went over some high points. I like this because it's really not like an in-your-face highlighter. It's more of a sheen. A beautiful, beautiful sheen. And if you ever feel like you need more of something, don't hesitate, you know? If you feel like you need a more like depth and dimension with your bronzer after all that, do that. See how I'm just gonna add a little bit more right here to create something? Beautiful! Just because when you're doing all this work, things do tend to disappear on you. So you kind of have to bring it back to life. All right, I just finished doing my mascara. I just thought I'd do it off camera with the L'Oreal Double Extend. I love this stuff because it's a tube-like mascara. Doesn't flake very easily. It's really good for those of us with like sensitive eyes. You don't want it smudging. Ta-da, your best friend. Make sure you follow me on Like to Know It. I have so many recommendations, it's so easy, and I do like deals and stuff all the time, so you should follow me there. Okay, the last step that I am absolutely obsessed with, and it's one of my favorites, is setting spray. But I've been using my setting spray a little bit different lately, so what I do, this is a Fenty Beauty What It Do, and I really like this. It's a refreshing setting mist, and I spray my beauty blender and I go like this, and it literally melts your makeup in and looks so good. It's the sponge that presses it in. Because sometimes I feel like you spray like this, but it sits on top of your skin and it doesn't really melt into the powders as well as setting spray should. And I've used this with all of my favorite setting sprays. Next thing is our lips. I've just been using this Ace Beauty lip liner because it's nude and it doesn't pull too pink. It just literally highlights my lips. But it's not too pink. And then let's go in with my Fenty Beauty Cream uh, Balm, the Fenty Glow, it's so good. Looks great, I still feel like I'm on the perfect hunt, not, I'm on the hunt for the perfect nude lip for me and my skin tone. I don't like it too dark. 
Like it looks good, but it still pulls a little pink, right? Anyway, the, the search will continue. Guys, right, so that is how you get this look. Ooh, it felt good to, good. So good to do a full face of makeup. Please do not forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video, and then, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.